Hey kids, we are so excited to share with you today about our career as disability representatives. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Tara Sanders, and I've been a social security disability representative for 13 years. I work with a firm called Disability Consulting, and my daughter also attended Station Camp Elementary. And I'm Tina Foster. I've been a disability representative for 12 years. Tara and I worked together at Disability Consulting for several of those years. And I started my own firm a few years ago called Foster Disability Associates. My granddaughter attended Station Camp Elementary for the last three years. Tara, would you like to start by telling the kids what a disability representative is? Sure. A disability representative is someone who helps people who can't work due to their health. We help them get social security benefits, such as money and insurance. We also file their applications. We file appeals in case they're denied, and we argue cases in front of the judges. Tina, tell the kids, what is a disability? Well, a disability can be a physical or a mental impairment that keeps someone from being able to work full time. You want to tell them about some examples? Sure. An example of disability might be a vision impairment. It could be a heart condition or a back impairment. Some impairments you can see, like if someone is in a wheelchair or walking with a cane. But there are other impairments that you can't see, like someone who is depressed or someone who might have a hearing impairment and couldn't hear well, or even someone who has cancer. Tina, let's tell the kids, what does a day look like being a disability representative? Well, all days are different. The most important part of doing our job is the preparing for the case or the preparing the case for a hearing before the judge. And that includes reading all of the medical records and knowing the law. Some days you will have hearings with the judges. You will need to be on time at the hearings office and look professional. Other days are more flexible. Um, SSA takes court very seriously, but on the days that you're not in court, you may be filing appeals, taking phone calls, writing legal briefs in your pajamas. <laughs> so as you can see, it is not a typical nine to five job. Um, you will have flexibility in your schedule. Some days you might get to sleep in, but those days you might have to stay up extra late at night reading those medical records to prepare for a case you have the next day. So sleeping in might not be such a great idea. Tara, what kind of education is needed to become a disability representative? Tina, that's a very good question. There are two different ways that you can become a disability representative. The first way is to go to law school and become a lawyer. <laughs> the second way is to have a four-year college degree called a bachelor's degree or an equivalent and to pass a written exam that Social Security creates. You must also complete certain education requirements yearly and report them to Social Security. Both ways to become a disability representative require that you keep insurance in case of malpractice, which is being negligent, careless, or dishonest. And we also have to undergo criminal background checks. Tina, let's tell the kids, um, what kind of skills do you need to be a disability representative? Well, there are several. We call them the four C's. The first of those C's is communication. Communication is everything. You communicate with the judges, the staff at Social Security, your colleagues, and most importantly, the person you're helping known as your client. You also want to be able to collaborate. When you collaborate, you want to work together with other people. You definitely want to build relationships with the judges, the employees at the Social Security office, and with your client to have the best chance of helping someone successfully. Building relationships will serve you very well in this job. Mm -hmm. Now, the third C is critical thinking, and it is one of the most important elements of our job. Uh, we're often required to analyze medical records, observe our clients, and understand and apply the law to the case. And lastly, the fourth C, we use cre creativity in our job to generate new ideas or possibilities that may be useful in solving problems, presenting our cases, or advertising our firms on the internet with social media 
or even in print. So Tara, how does being a disability representative contribute to our society? You know, the best part about our job is we get to help people when they need it the most. We help people who can't work due to their health, get money to pay for their bills, to take care of their families, and to get health insurance so that they can get medical care. We also help doctors and medical providers understand more about disability. We might help people who can't read or write and might have trouble understanding how the law works. Well, and we often help people who are homeless. We take our services to them by visiting homeless shelters and the Nashville Rescue Mission. You guys, we hope we have enlightened you a little bit on what it means to be a disability representative. It's often different every single day, but it's always rewarding. I've heard it said that if you enjoy your job, you never really work a day in your life. And to be able to work with friends and to help people, it's just the best. Thanks for letting us share. Bye. Bye. Bye.